Hello again. Um, I will be reading another story from my mom's book called The Call to Gather, which you can order on Amazon.com. This story is called Spirits in the Shoes. Uncle Adam sat on the porch facing the boys who sat at his feet. He rose slowly as he spoke. He shuffled stepped to the side, did a hop, a wind quick twirl, and smiled. The genre was tap. Rat a tap, 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 splat. Flat foot across the floor, on toe, double strokes, and through a whirling spiral. We can and did dance. We danced the rhythm of a people that refused not to be seen, or at least we can make our voices be heard through the rhythm. The pulse of the drum in our feet kept a life force strong enough to survive all that was ahead. Based on the beats that had gone before, we danced, and we danced some more. You couldn't stop us. You couldn't match us. The simplicity of the sound. Tap, click, tap, click, click, tap. Splitting silence with feet drums. Message drumming through feet to eternity of collective vision. Vision can't be expressed through so many things. We held the vision in our feet, marching forward with a sense of history marching forward with a sense of being alive and real. Uncle Adam commanded attention. He started to break it down for the fellas. Some now say, bring in the noise, bring in the funk. But you really need to know what that means. Tap dance is the sounds of heart rhythms beating faster than ears can comprehend at times, slowing it down a pace so that mortals might see. The flash of energy in that life force of compelled feet. Flying in the air, these dancing brothers invented hang time and the sky hook, swirling, twirling, cutting through space, precision timing of the drums, beating, beating, beating in time with spirit, beating in time with rhythm. Feet beat in time with such force that it brings peace. When my soul looks back and wonders how we got over, I know it was with the rhythms birthed through many feet. Uncle Adam continued his lesson. When all thought that drums were silenced, defiant feet said no. No, the life force is never gone, only moved to the next level. Oh, that I could drum the way those feet danced. Oh, I could talk in the level of consciousness those feet whispered. Time immemorial, running rhythms live on and on. Running rhythms live for sure. Brothers of Tap taught us that we are special people indeed. The Brothers of Tap taught us well. To know one's history is to embrace the love inside your spirits for your very self. I teach you the steps. I teach you the rhythms patiently, patiently as those who went before me taught me patiently. Uncle Adam's voice softened. I never tire of explaining to you the importance of tap because it is part of our timeline in this country. Without Bill Bojangles Robinson, the Nicholas brothers, Sammy Davis Jr., the Hines brothers, Gregory Hines, Maurice Hines, Savion Glover, and others, we would still weep for our drums. The drum rhythms were beaten out of our hands. Drum rhythms were sometimes cut from our fingers. But a whip that cut so deep could not cut the memory. Feet with no shoes remembered. And feet with boots remembered. Feet with new shoes remembered. And feet with taps remembered. And now feet with tennis shoes must learn and remember. Tap, step, stop. Breathe in the silence of the held note. Tap, tap, tap. Breathe. Now sounding out the 16th note triplets. Clack, tap, clack, tap, bop, pop, bop, tap. And swing in the flow of the beats. Tap, step, stop. Breathe in the silence of the held note. Tap, tap, tap. Breathe. Clack, tap, clack, tap, bop, pop, bop, tap and swing in the flow of the beats. Feet cut through air. 
One of the brothers smiles and says, I challenge you. The fellas gather because it's on. Again, that was Spirits in the Shoes from A Call to Gather by my mom, BJ Jones. You can get this on Amazon.com. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.